Yeah, Empa Kidney. We have published uh, this trial recently and it included a very broad population, 6,600 patients with diabetic and non-diabetic kidney disease. A broad range because we also included patients without albuminuria down to an eGFR glomerular filtration rate to 20 ml per minute, 20% kidney function. The primary endpoint was end-stage kidney disease, dialysis or renal transplant and the decline of glomerular filtration rate by 40%, as well as a composite combined with cardiovascular death. So we were looking at both kidney and heart, and the study was terminated early because of overwhelming benefit. So this broad of uh, range of patients showed when they were treated with empagliflozin in comparison with placebo a 28% relative risk reduction of the primary endpoint. And the result is so uh, fantastic for the kidney community now published and then we now we have to disseminate the knowledge and then implement the treatment uh, across uh, Germany and the world mm -hmm. uh, effectively. So uh, the SGLT2 inhibitor is a S-sodium glucose co-transporter inhibitor. It blocks glucose reabsorption at the, within the kidney at the proximal tubule. And therefore you excrete glucose. With glucose excretion you excrete sodium. So you get rid for a couple of days a lot of sodium and continuously glucose excretion. And then you come to a new balance of your body weight, one kilogram less or more. Then you have a reduction in plasma volume. It's, a, it's a, another form of diuretic, osmotic diuretic, which explains the strong effect on the heart failure. And so sodium glucose osmotic diuresis, reduction in plasma volume, stimulation of the erythropoietin system, erythropoietin production, a higher hematocrit. You increase uh, all the, the transporters for oxygen, so tissues are uh, reduced in their stress. The tubular apparatus is, has a stress reduction. The tubular apparatus requires less uh, energy, and if you require less energy, you come to a more uh, balanced uh, hypometabolism you reduce the intraglomerular pressure and hyperfiltration. So the last two things, reduction in intraglomerular pressure and reduction in hyperfiltration is the, result, the main result of all the mechanism and this will preserve uh, kidney function. So what are the implications of EMPA kidney? So the final goal is uh, to push away dialysis and avoid. Yeah, this would be the vision uh, every nephrologist has. And I think we are on a good way now with RAS blockade, ACE and ARP treatment and now SGLT2 inhibitor treatment. And recently we had also um, a non-steroidal mineralocorticoid receptor antagonism, phenerenone, as an, another armentarium. And I, th I think now with EMPA kidney we are marching towards avoiding dialysis in, in many people. Uh, and pushing it away for a substantial period of time. In the moment, it is for nephrologists, it's an exciting time uh, because we have something in our hands. We can tell the patients, I have something for you. Also, when he has 20% uh, of kidney function, 20 ml, we can give him them something. We can give him a combined treatment, many things to offer. Uh, we will go in the future maybe more to personalized medicine, respecting the aims and goals of the younger and the elderly. So um, I think also uh, for our students and the next generation, they may be more enthusiastic to go into nephrology because they can do something, help the patients. And we can be active in, in all our fields. We are doing now a study in dialysis patient to see an effect of this medication, which usually is operative when the kidney is functioning. Uh, but we want to try and test um, these uh, interventions, the SGLT2 inhibitors, 
also in our dialysis patients to prevent cardiac disease, cardiovascular complication. And then finally, I think uh, a very long-term goal and the vision is also that we move these treatments in so-called primary prevention in the early phases of kidney disease. Once we have detected diabetic kidney disease or chronic kidney disease, that we move them into early stages early on. We have seen at the American Society of Nephrology a poster um, issued by Fresenius trying to to show what can be the future. And this model was showing a stabilization for a couple of years, but then was I'm, what I mentioned is longevity, change in the demography will change again, the picture in about eight to 10 years. But we have now five years to more, make more interventions and build up another pillar of our temple, which we generated now so the EMPA kidney study happened in uh, eight countries worldwide, in team 220 centers and teams which were working there with these 6,600 patients. And I take the opportunity to thank all the participants in this trial, the patients, the study nurses, the steering committees, all doctors which were instrumental to make this uh, big study to a success and give hope to the next generation of patients that they can prevent progression of kidney disease. Thank you, all of you. <laughs>